beautiful people welcome to Remy's fashion my name is Remy on this channel we upload pattern drafting and sewing tutorials in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to draft a three-part corset pattern I have drafted a corset pattern on this channel before but this one is gonna be a different one this is gonna be a three-part bust cup the one I already have on my channel is a two-part bust cup corset there are different methods in drafting corsets I'm going to show you another easy method of drafting this three-part corset. Let's get started. On the screen are the measurements that I'm going to be using. I will draft out a basic pattern to make it a lot easier for beginners amongst our midst. The first thing I'm going to do is to draw out a starting point like I always say. Have a starting point. So I have a starting point here and this is a starting point for all my vertical measurements. I'm going to draw another starting point down here and this is going to be my starting point for all my horizontal measurements. So this starting point is going to be my shoulder line. So I'm going to write the shoulder line. So I'm just going to put SL there. So the next thing I'm going to do is to measure from my shoulder to my bust, shoulder to my under bust, shoulder to my waist. So from my shoulder to my bust is 12 inches. So I'm going to measure from my shoulder. This is my line, my shoulder line to my bust. That's 12 inches. I will mark. And then shoulder to my under bust is 15.5 inches. I will mark. And then I'm going to be using a waist vertical measurement of 19 inches. I will mark. And then I'm going to draw a horizontal line to connect all my points. So this is my shoulder line. This is my bust line, BL. This is my under bust line, under bust line. And then this is my waist line. So the next thing I'm going to do is to measure my shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement is 18 inches. And when I divide that by two, it's going to give me nine inches. So this is my shoulder line. So I'm going to measure nine inches. Nine inches puts me here and I will mark. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out my neckline. Do not need this. I'm going to do it anyway so that the beginners amongst us can understand what I'm doing better. So I'm going to use the standard neck width of three inches by three inches. So I'm going to draw the neckline now. So the next thing I'm going to do is to slant my shoulder by one inch and I will connect it to my neckline. So from my shoulder line, I'm going to measure one inch down like this. I'll put a point there and then I'll connect that point to my neck width. The next thing I'm going to do now is to create the armhole curve. And to create the armhole curve, we need our armhole measurement. Or you divide your bust circumference by six and then you add 1.5 inches. Whatever you get is what you're going to measure from the slanted shoulder down and for that mine is nine inches so i'm going to measure nine inches from the slanted shoulder so nine inches from there is going to put me here and i will mark and then i will draw a horizontal line to connect the points and this right here is my chest line or upper bust line and then i'm going to draw this down to meet the line like this so this is our chest line or upper bust line so we'll now create the curve by finding the midpoint of this line so mine is nine inches so i'll find the midpoint of that nine inches to confirm that is nine inches you see this is nine inches so to find the midpoint so half of nine inches is 4.5 inches so this is it i'll put a dot there and then i'll measure half an inch from there inwards half an inch puts me here and then i'll draw the line inwards like this so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide my bust circumference by four and then I'll plot whatever I get on my chest line. So divide yours by four and then plot whatever you get on the chest line. This is to help us to create the armhole curve. Okay. So mine is 44 inches and by the time I divide that by four, it's going to give me 11 inches. 44 divided by four is going to give me 11 inches and this is where it puts me. So I'll mark. 
So that's my bust circumference measurement right there. So to create the curve, I'm going to connect from the top to this half inch that we came in like this. And then I will draw a curve to my bust circumference measurement. So from the half inch right here, I'm going to draw a curve to meet this point. That's the circumference measurement. So this is our armhole curve. So the next thing I'm going to do is to plot my bust span measurement on my bust line. Bust span is also known as nipple to nipple measurement. My nipple to nipple measurement is 9 inches, which will be divided by 2. And that is going to give me 4.5 inches. So I'm going to measure 4.5 inches on my bust line, on my under bust line, and on my waistline. That's 4.5. So whatever your bust span measurement is, you divide it by two and then you plot it. 4.5. And then I'll draw a straight line to connect all these points together. And then from this bust point, I'm going to go down by 0 0.75. That's three quarter. So I'm going to measure three quarter from there. Three quarter will put me here. I will mark. I'll just put a dot there. So for me to be able to draw my dart, I'm going to measure 0 0.75 on each side of my under bust line and on my waistline. So I'm going to measure 0 0.75 on the right and 0 0.75 on the left. And then I'm going to draw a straight line to connect the points from under bust to the waistline on this side and then on the other side as well. Like this. So the next thing we're going to do is to divide my shoulder into two. Measure your shoulder line, find out what it is, and then divide it into two. So when I take my measurement, mine is six inches. So midpoint is three inches. So I'll mark, I'll mark that. And then I'll connect that point to my bust line. So I'll now connect from that point to my bust point. Like this. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to measure the distance between my bust line and my under bust because I want us to draw out the radius of our bust. From the bust line to my under bust, mine is 3.5 inches. So from this bust point now, I'm going to draw 3.5 inches all round, all round to give me the circle. So if you have a compass, you can use a compass now and then you draw to give us the bust radius. So for me, that number is 3.5 inches. So I'm going to measure 3.5 inches and I'll go round. So I'm going to connect all my dots together to give me that round circle. So this is my bust radius. The circle. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to use my curve ruler and I'm going to connect from this 0 0.7 inches that we came down to the under bust on both sides. So I'm going to connect it like this from here to here and then I'll do the same thing for the other side. Okay, like this. So the distance between here and here, that's under here. Remember it was 1.5 inches that we plotted here. So I'm going to take this 1.5 inches. I'm going to plot it on top of my radius. I'm going to measure 0 0.5 inches towards the center front and then one inch towards the side. For us to avoid gaping, I'm going to increase that 0 0.5 inches. I'm going to increase it by 0 0.25. So I'm going to add 0 0.25 to the right hand side and 0 0.25 to the left hand side. So that means on this side, I'm going to be having 0 0.75 inches and on the other side I'm going to be measuring 1.25 inches that's going to give me a total of 2 inches this is to avoid gaping so I will measure so I'll measure 0 0.75 on here and then on here I'm going to measure 1.25 and that's going to put me here and I'll mark so the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect from this point to the bust line and then from this point to the bust line as well so when i take the measurement of my points that's two inches completely as opposed to 1.5 inches just like i said i added 0 0.25 inches on each side just to avoid gaping okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to connect from the top to the bust point like this and then i will turn my ruler and then i'll connect the other side as well 
like this so after doing that the next thing i'm gonna do is from my chest line i will go down by half an inch you can go up or down by one inch half an inch or even leave it on the chest line i'm gonna be using half an inch so i'm gonna go down by half an inch it's gonna put me here and then i'm gonna go in by half an inch as well and that puts me here so i'll just draw a straight line to connect my points like this so the next thing i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna connect from this top to this half an inch that we came down with my curve ruler like this and then i'll now connect from this down to the under bust like this okay so now we're finished with this side so now on the side front i'm going to take the midpoint of between here and here this is my midpoint so i'll mark so find out what your midpoint is you put a dot there so on the side front i put a point at the midpoint of my armhole curve and then i'm going to measure half an inch from that point and then i'll put a dot there so from this half an inch i'm just going to draw a straight line outwards so that's our new line that we're going to be using so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to use my curve now i'm going to connect from this top to where we came down by half an inch so i'm just going to use my curve ruler like this and i'll connect and then from here i'm going to connect to the bottom of the under bust like this this is a three part corset so this is one and this is two and because it's three parts we need to be able to draft the third part and that's the upper part so what we're going to do now is so i'm going to take a measurement i'm going to measure from here two inches down and then from here since this part is higher than here so i'm going to add half an inch to it so i'm going to measure two and a half inches here here is going to be two and a half inches as well because it's higher than here and here i'm going to measure two inches that's going to create our third part okay so two inches down here is going to put me here i'm going to mark i'm going to just mark put a point there and then from the top here two and a half inches is going to put me here and i will just mark and this middle one as well is two and a half inches i will mark and then on the edge that's the center front the measurement is two inches i will mark i will now use my curve to connect all these points together so i want to make sure this blends so that when i cut it out and i'm joining it back together it's not going to give us any issues okay i'm just going to blend it nicely so this is our three part corset so this is the first one and this is second one and this is the third one but when we cut them out it's going to be in pieces and then we can join these two together so the best thing for you to do is to label them before you cut out so this is our three part cup so the next thing we're going to do is to plot in our circumference measurement which we will have to divide by four inches i've already done the circumference measurement for my chest line all i'm going to do now is i'm going to add back what we've used up here okay so if i take the measurement of what we used up here we said earlier it was two inches so measure yours and then find out what you used up mine is two inches and then because i've already taken my bust circumference measurement i've plotted it on my chest line which is 11 inches and here you go 11 inches so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add two inches this two inches so i'm going to add the two inches back and that's the two inches and then i'm going to add sewing allowance as well you can decide how much sewing allowance you want to add i'm going to be adding one inch you can decide to add more so i'll measure one inch and i'm going to add one inch it's going to put me here and i will mark so i'm going to drop this point so i'm going to drop it here because this is the one we're going to be using down here so i'm dropping it here then the next thing i'm going to do is to plus in my waist circumference measurement and then you divide it by four mine is 9.5 inches 9.5 inches puts me here and then i'll measure what i have here so i'm going to be paying it back this is 1.5 inches this measurement here i'll add 1.5 inches here and then i'm going to add my one inch sewing allowance and that puts me here so you can add whatever sewing allowance you prefer it's up to you so the next thing i'm going to do now is to connect from my chest line to my waistline i will now connect from the chest line to the waistline so i have done that so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add hem allowance to my waistline and i'm going to be adding two inches you can decide to add whatever hem allowance you prefer you can add half an inch one inch it all depends on you i'm going to be adding two inches and then i'll draw a horizontal line to connect the points so the next thing i'm going to do now is to label my pattern pieces before cutting out 
so i can sew this top on its own or i can add it to a skirt part to make a dress just make sure you write down whatever sewing allowance you added so label your patterns as well which is very important the cup at the top so this is going to be my number one a left and this is going to be my number one b right so that way i'm not going to miss them up and i'll put an arrow to connect them because this part after cutting up we have to join them together and put it on another piece of paper so that it can be one piece okay so this is my one a and left oh, this is my left hand side so it's going to be easy to identify so left this is one b and then this is going to be right and then this is my number two this is two and then this is three and then i'll put an arrow so that i know that this is how i'm going to connect them together so before i cut out the front i'm going to extend the lines the chest line the bust line and the waist line and the hem to be able to draft the back So I have drawn my lines out for my back pattern. So I left one inch zipper allowance. So if you are going to be using a zipper, this is how to use a zipper. One inch zipper allowance. I'm just going to note it down. One inch zipper. So this is how to draft it with the zipper allowance. And then the next thing, I drew out my lines, my shoulder line, chest line, bust line, waist line, and then the hem line. So this shoulder line is my starting point. So I'm going to measure my shoulder line. And my shoulder line measurement, just like we did for the front, is 9 inches. So I'm just going to measure 9 inches after the zipper line. So 9 inches will put me here, and I will mark. And then I'm going to draw out my neck measurements, with my neck width and my neck depth. Just like I said earlier, we're not going to be using them, but I'm going to do it anyway so that you follow the steps so i'm going to be using the standard width and depth measurement of three inches by one that is for the back so three inches width which puts me here and then one inch depth which puts me here and then i'll just connect them like this our shoulders are not straight so i'm going to slant it down by one inch i'll put a dot there that's one inch so i'm going to connect that dot to the neckline width like this then i will measure nine inches from my slope so if i measure nine inches is exactly on our chest line so i'm just going to draw it all the way down like this for me to be able to create the curve i need the midpoint but for the back i'm not going to be going in by half an inch i'm going to leave it like that so 4.5 inches is my midpoint that's 4.5 inches yes here and then i'm going to take both circumference measurement which i've already calculated mine is 11 inches whatever yours is you plot it in on your chest line so mine is 11 inches so 11 inches will put me here and i'll mark 11 inches and then i'll connect from the midpoint i'm going to connect it to my chest line that's where we measured our circumference so that's the back and bone curve. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to measure my bust band measurement, which I'm going to be measuring on my bust line and my waistline. And mine is 4.5 inches. So whatever yours is, you plot it on there. And I'm starting from my zipper allowance and I'm going to just mark 4.5 inches and I'll go to my waistline and I'll do the same thing. 4.5 inches. That puts me here. I'm just going to measure the 4.5 inches on my chest line, but I'm not going to draw it on the chest line. Do the measurement, put a dot there and then I'm go down by half an inch. So I'm going to go down by half an inch on this chest line and I'll mark. So I'm going to connect all these points together using a straight ruler. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draft out my darts. For the back, I'm going to be using half an inch on each side. So one inch dart. I'm going to measure one inch, half an inch on each side of the waistline. Half an inch, half an inch. So I will connect from this half an inch. I'm going to connect upwards like this and I'm going to do the same thing for the other side as well. This is my dart. So the next thing we're going to do now is to plot in our circumference measurements. We've already plotted it on the chest line. We'll now plot the next one on the waistline. My waist circumference measurement is 38 inches. And by the time I divide that by 4, it's going to give me 9.5 inches. So I'm going to measure 9.5 inches on my waistline. 9.5 inches on my waistline. It's going to put me here and I will mark. And then I'm going to measure this one inch dart that I took out here. I'm going to add it back. One inch. I'm going to add it back. And then I'm also going to add my one inch sewing allowance. Just like I said earlier, you can add more. Oh, well, I'm going to be doing one inch. So here, I'm going to add one inch sewing allowance to my chest line as well. And the next thing I'm going to do now is to connect. This is 9.5 inches. I added the one inch we took out for the dart. That is it. And then this is the sewing allowance. One inch. So I'm just going to connect this to this. Just confirm, make sure your measurements are correct. 9.5. This is one inch I took out and then another one inch sewing allowance. And then from here to here is 11 inches. And then this is one inch sewing allowance. So I'm going to connect. So this is our back. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to work on my zipper bulge. 
So to remove the zipper bulge, I'm going to go in by half an inch on the waistline and then I'll connect it to the top. You can connect it to the chest line or you can connect it to the midpoint. So I'm going to measure half an inch from my chest line. I'm going to measure half an inch inwards and that's going to put me here. I'm going to do the same thing on this second line as well. Half an inch inwards and that's going to put me here. And then I will use my ruler. You can use your curve. So it gives you a slanted curve look or you can just use the straight part. So I'm going to be connecting it to my chest line. So from here, it's just going to go all the way up to the chest line and then I'll do the same thing here as well. All the way up to the chest line. So now this is the back all done. So the next thing we're going to do now is to cut out this pattern. As you can see, we've finished everything about this. We've done the front and we've done the back. So together we have our front and back patterns. This is the drafting of our three part corset, both the front and the back patterns. I have not cut out the patterns yet. I wanted to have both patterns on one sheet of paper so that I can show you what it looks like. And so this is it. This is the front and this is the back. The next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out this pattern. So for the front, I'm just going to cut out, you see the marker in red is what I'm going to be cutting out. And I'm going to cut out this dart as well, so you can follow along. And then I'll follow the red. pattern this and this goes together and then this one now we're going to join it together and trace it on another paper so that we can have one piece instead of two so we're going to do that now before we cut out the back pattern so using my sellotape i'll join the two pieces together i pinned it onto another paper so now i'm going to just trace it out and then i'll cut I'm going to cut it out now. So this is our three part front. The only sewing allowances I added are for the side and the hem. Just the side and the hem. When I'm ready to cut out this pattern on my fabric, I'm going to add the remaining sewing allowances. So this is what it looks like. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out the back pattern. You can decide to cut out this as it is or I can just come down by maybe half an inch on from the zipper side Half an inch like this and then I'll connect it to the other side You can use a curve or you can use a straight line to give it that beautiful curve Or you can just use it straight to give it a slanted look or you, it all depends on what you prefer So I'm just gonna do this, okay? So these are the pattern pieces for the back. I cut out the darts completely, okay? And then don't forget, you have to add sewing allowances. So this is for my back and this is for my front. So this is our three part corset pattern. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you've not done so already. And please share, like. If you have any questions or suggestions, I'll be in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next tutorial. Take care and God bless.